All right, we have the uh, truck leaving and they just delivered our three slot battery server rack. And it is actually one of these right here. Doesn't come with the batteries, just the server rack cabinet. So we got another one because we got to put right there because we have batteries that need to go into a cabinet. And then we can parallel those onto the bus bar over here. So got that, uh, pretty easy. They, uh, it's pre-assembled. All you gotta do is put the uh, casters on and you're ready to go and pretty easy. So just want to do a quick video on that and we'll be doing a video of opening up and also uh, putting it together. All right, so we got the cardboard and everything off of this. And on this, you need to press this down, turn this, and it opens up. And inside of here is the keys held on by a zip tie. And then we have screws, screws, plugs. We have... Um, See, we have black screws, uh, silver screws, and then we have um, some uh, wire uh, things here. So, and then we have the casters down here. Ugh. All right. So... have the casters oops, in this box. Here we go. Ooh, these are nice. These are very nice. Different from the first set that I got. I like that. They look like they're a upgrade. So got All of, all of this stuff right here. So this is actually pretty easy. Um, we need to oops, get this stuff off of here so we can um, turn it upside down or turn it on its side actually to uh, put these casters on. And oh, all right, so we're gonna have to uh, uh, turn this on its side so you can see right here where the casters go and looks like they will just bolt right into those holes there. So, uh, don't see any, don't really see any instructions here. Yeah, uh, I would believe these black screws here might be the, uh, for the casters one, two, yeah, three, four, okay, so these go on with a Phillips head there, and we'll use a Phillips screwdriver first, and then uh, take and uh, use a socket on it to tighten it all the way. So we're just gonna take and put these four screws on there and we will be right back. Okay, so that took about two minutes on each caster. It wasn't too bad. And actually it was a Phillips head and it was a, uh, let's see what this is. 
So you see, I think it's a 10 millimeter. If you can see there or not, but it's a 10 millimeter socket. So I just put it on a handle there. And so there were 24 of the chrome screws and those are round, they're rounded on these. And there were only 16 of the black ones and they were 10 millimeter with the um, Phillips on them. So 16 makes sense that that's 16 of those and there's 24 of those. So that wouldn't be on there. I haven't seen any instructions yet, but so I just figured that out real quick. So we can uh, take and put that back on. Pull this off of this. And try and lift this up. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's see. On the side, there's four punch outs. On the top, there's two rubber grommets. On the other side, there's four punch outs. And on the back, there's two screws. Look like you could take the back off if you wanted to. And then on the front, um, like I said, you just press that down, turn this, and it opens it. And you have your um, bus bar here, your positive right there, and your uh, guess, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's a if there's black on one of these. Hmm. They have red a red bushing in there, but that doesn't really mean anything. So I guess on your batteries, your your positive on these EG4s are on the left and the negatives on the right. So I would say this is going to be your positive for the EG4s and then the negative is going to be over here on the on the uh, on the right hand side and the left hand side is for your positive. So you also have two holes down there and I believe that is what These are four, if you so want to use them. Take and see if we can undo this. So it's, um, to put your wire through, you could uh, either go this way, either go this way, or this way and then you just screw this on so we can put those in I'm not sure how we're going to use them I uh, I think I I like the other one because it had big holes right here um, on this other one here where I was able to run my cables one big one in the middle there, and I kind of like that. For some reason, they don't have that anymore. They have the four. Now we have no cables on the side or anything. So, um, probably take and run our cables. I don't know. Sure. There we go. Here's one. So, I use these disconnects. So, I can actually... I'll have to get a longer one, uh, but uh, getting it through, getting it through that is going to be a little tough <laughs> for that. I don't think that's going to, no, nah, it's, it's not going to fit through there. So I'm going to have to figure something out because um, I don't know about the top. I, um, I kind of want to leave, leave the top free and run it through the bottom. I guess I could maybe um, run the one out the back, back there. Um, maybe run it on the side here and run it out back. 
So I, that would probably give me a little better. Um, Cause what I use is I use this to connect to the battery like it is over here. So it's connected on that. And then this part would be, this connects to the battery would be on the outside of that. And then I could just connect this, which these two ends are, these two ends are connected to that bus bar. So I will have to figure that out. But anyways, that took me a, a whole, uh, probably take me another five minutes to put these on. I'll probably put them on so I don't lose them. And uh, then I'll do another video on uh, putting the batteries in and connecting those up. So we went ahead and installed two batteries in here, but we haven't connected them yet. So all you have to do is these 24 screws that they give you here, see those? Uh, you put one in there, one in there, one over here, one over there. So that secures them. So there's four holes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four over there. So you just secure those in there and move those out of the way. And that's it. And then we have to still connect the wires in that. But it was really easy to just slide these in on the server rack and then screw those in. And then we'll connect them to the bus bars over here on the positive on this side, negative on that side. So just wanted to show you that. That takes no time at all. It takes less than five minutes to slide that thing in and um, use those four screws to hold it in there. So that's pretty much it on the EG4. Um, like I said, we'll be connecting the Anderson 175 amp quick disconnect cables to that so we can connect it to our bus bar over there. And then we'll actually have, we have three batteries in there, two there, and then I still have these three and then I'll have one more. I have a total of nine batteries, 45.9 kilowatt hours that we'll be able to use for over the summertime. So that's pretty much it. I will leave links in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2025.